Good morning friends i hope everyone is doing well i request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding if you really like my teaching please press the like button share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel for regular updates in this video i want to discuss some of the modification suggested to the turing machine then let me discuss all these things and i want to tell one more thing even after these suggestions if you modify these suggestions also to the standard turing machine the power of the turing machine is not changed what is the meaning of the power of the turing machine any long ways which was previously accepted even now also after adding these modifications also the turing machine we can do it so there is no change in the turing machine power so that's why we have not considered these suggestions now let me discuss what are they the first one is offline turing machine offline turing machine means if you see that we are taking a turing machine which we will have a tape the input we will store on the tape and finally output also we will store on the tape so what i can say that at last after modifying if you see that when we are performing additions or subtraction the input we are storing here and last we are modifying the input and here itself we are getting the output so the input is modifying but what the offline turing machine they said is that you will have a input separately that input you are copying it into the tape and here you are modifying so you will have still you will have the input so the copy of the input is storing on the tape and here you are performing the operations either modifying or you are not modifying making it as a blank zero you are modifying x one you are modifying as y all these things at last you will get it as an output here but still you will have a input if our case is taking all our inputs are modifying this suggestion is good but however the power of the turing machine has not changed okay then the next one is that multi-tape turing machine multi-tape turing machine is right now we have only one tape instead of that one they are saying that why can't we have more than one tape and one turing machine will handle all the tapes so you will have a read write header here read write header here read write header here because each tape will have a tape header so a turing machine can read the content from the tape one so that's what here you have n number of tapes from a state in the turing machine you can see n number of tape headers so here you can look at okay tape symbol you can look at from the suppose if you have tape number one tape number two tape number three at the same time you can see the three tape symbols okay from a state then you will go to some state and you will modify them whether you are modifying you are not modifying but you can see multiple tape symbols at a time and you will go left or right is it clear even this one is not increasing the power of the turing machine okay are you able to understand even if you go for multi tape the power of the turing machine has not changed the next one this is interesting jumping turing machine what is the advantage of this one and what it is we will discuss now if you have a jumping turing machine normally our turing machine what it will do you are in some state q by looking at the input okay let's say that one is there you will make it as one or modify it as zero so let's take that i am in state q not i am looking the input one on the tape symbol meaning is the tape symbol i am looking at i am going to some state q one i am modifying it as a zero let's take that then i will move to the either left or right let's take that i am moving to the left if i am moving to the left how many steps i can move i can only move one step at a once at a once i can move only one step then next time if i want to move left i will again perform the operation so if you see the normal turing machine we can move either left or right at a one step only means at one step you can move one place only either left or right but whereas jumping turing machine if you say that here two let's take that you are writing two here then meaning is that you can jump two places to the left hand side what is the advantage of that one the number of states may reduce but what are the languages we can construct a turing machine even jumping turing machine still the power of the language is same only but however 
the complexity may reduce is it clear because if you see that all the turing machine because we are moving only one step so if we are need lot of states if you have jumping turing machine we can reduce the number of states and we can reduce the complexity however the power of the turing machine has not changed okay the next one next turing machine they suggested is that whatever the suggestion they given is always writing turing machine always writing turing machine is sometimes what we are doing if you see a one we are just keeping it as one move to the left meaning is that we are not performing any right operation there but what they are saying is that if it is one you make it zero or either make it as one again rewrite it just if it is a one is there if we are just keeping it as one we will let but they are saying that if it is one don't leave it as one just may again write it see here if you leave it as one or again write it as one it is still one only but they are saying that either any time if you are moving any step either left or right you always take the input alphabet modify it modify it means always write one is there again remove the one again write it as a one there is no difference so as there is no difference the power of the turing machine is still same the next one is interesting multi dimensional turing machine okay what is the meaning of the multi dimensional turing machine is right now we will have a one tape where we can go left direction or right direction but now you have u and d u represents up d represents d what is this one we will see we will have a tape this is single tape only this is not a multi tapes or you can consider this a multi tapes also not a problem so now you can move to the left right side you can move to the left side you can go up even you can come down is it clear that is what the multi dimensional from a state q by looking at a tape symbol you can go to any state which is there in the queue and modify it or if you can keep it as the same thing but you will have another two directions one is previously we can go left or you can go right but however now you can go up and down so this is the extra future if you consider the multi dimensional however even if i add this suggestion also the power of the turing machine has not changed okay now we will go for the next one non deterministic turing machine we have discussed till now a finite automata deterministic finite automata is there non deterministic finite automata is there even push down automata deterministic is there non deterministic push down automata is there similarly for turing machine we will have a deterministic turing machine and we will have a non deterministic turing machine i think by this time you know that what is a deterministic and what is a non deterministic now let me discuss from a state q if it is a deterministic turing machine from a state q by looking at the tape symbol you will go to one state and modify it the tape symbol or you keep it as it is either move left or right am i right or wrong so but whereas the non deterministic turing machine says that you are in the state q some state q you are looking at a tape symbol you can go to the more than one state or you may not go to any state but you can move left or right that is what they are saying it is 2 power q meaning is a power set if it is a non deterministic you can go to any state or you may go the more than one state also or you may not go to any state so that is about the non deterministic that's why it is 2 power q power set okay even it consists of phi also phi means it is not going to any state also so i hope you have understood even if it is a non deterministic turing machine also the power is not changed what is the meaning deterministic turing machine power is equal to non deterministic turing machine okay so if you take all these modifications also the power is not changed so that's why they still keep the standing turing machine only standard turing machine if you have any doubts regarding this suggestions or modifications given by it if you still have any doubts feel free to ask it in the comment section i will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day